Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Animate Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News. Starting with Fascinations, as usual, on their coming soon page, there are four new items to talk about. Two from Iconics, there is the German Flak 88 gun, and the Dresden, forgive me, I do not know how to say this properly, Frauken, Frauker, Chi, Frauken? I'm not sure how to say that. Normally I would consult some somewhat German-speaking friends, but I haven't had the opportunity to do so this morning. I do not know anything about these two items, but look forward to learning more about them in the future. Usually when I go to build new items is when I learn more about them, and that's one of the fun things about these models. On the ME side, there is the Black Panther, which looks very interesting. It's kind of exciting to get something else from the Marvel lineup. Uh, there has been some fun made at the uh, legs looking a little bit wimpy, but I'm, I'm remaining confident that that is just the camera angle and at a different angle, they probably look a little bit better. And the Yamai Gate, again, I'm not exactly sure how to say that. And it's another item that I'm not familiar with, but look forward to learning more about. Also from Metal Earth, the exclusive Red Millennium Falcon that was available through Target finally came in the mail. I had ordered the pre-order of the movie that came with, bundled with the model. It's apparently an ex still an exclusive Target model. Now originally it was offered as part of the pre-order for the movie, a pre-release, and I did order that. It was Target exclusive, and I actually went to the trouble to get a Target red card to be able to order this because I definitely wanted the movie and I definitely wanted the model. Since then, since it's released, that pre-order, that package deal has been taken off the website, but somewhere during that time period, they added the option to just buy the model, and that remains on their site. Interestingly, when the model came in the mail, it wasn't packaged together like the Blade Runner. The Blade Runner movie came with in a package with the model all together, you open up that package, the model comes out, the DVD comes out. This was just the DVD like you'd buy in the store with the model sat on top of it, a couple of rubber bands and thrown in a package and mailed to me. So I thought that was kind of odd and interesting. But I guess they just didn't include it in a specific package, which is why they're still able to sell probably whatever didn't get pre-ordered on their website, not a problem. So it's still available if you want just the model. You don't have to get it with the movie, but I was gonna get the movie anyway, so why wouldn't I? A quick look at the Peace Cool website doesn't show anything new, but recently bumming around on Twitter, I noticed something that I believe to be from Tenu. I have not completely confirmed this yet, but I saw a post, uh, I think Tenu had reposted someone else's post, and I went to the website and Google did a little bit of translating, but it looks like it's a Universal Studios Japan diorama and models that are available through them that I'm guessing are Tenyo models, which Tenyo is basically the Japanese version of Metal Earth. And there's several very interesting models I'd kind of like to get, but they're right now, as far as I can tell, exclusive to the Universal Studios Japan. And you can find a few of them on eBay, but they're extremely marked up. They're very expensive. But they've got a minion model, which is basically the three minions in one kit. There's the Jurassic Park, which pretty much looks like a repackaged T-Rex model, just dressed up with Jurassic Park. There's one that's just labeled Gate, which looks like the Universal Studios Japan Gate, is what I'm guessing it is. There's a Spider-Man model, which I'm, I don't see Spider-Man in it. It's not a very good picture. I'm guessing it's just the front or the attraction in the, in the Universal Studios. It's, it's kind of like Disney does the castles and some of their attractions. Universal Studios must have done the same thing with their Spider-Man ride or attraction. I'm not very familiar with it, so I'm not sure. And then the one labeled the globe, which looks like Universal Studios globe icon that you can get in model form. And there's also a Jaws model, which I was excited about at first, mainly for my girlfriend, because she's a big Jaws fan. But she pointed out that it appears to be not Jaws, not the main shark character, but the tiger shark they caught in earlier in the movie hung up. That was actually not the shark that they were looking for that had cause the problem. Now we'll be keeping an eye out on eBay to see if those become more available and maybe the prices will drop down a little bit, but it's been my experience when it comes to tenure stuff, the prices tend to be a little bit higher and shipping is quite a bit higher, so it can be a little bit more pricey to get a hold of those things, but I would like to get the minions just for the heck of it, but not at $75, not right now. And that's the price that I found on eBay currently. 
typically every week when I do these videos, I take a quick look at some of my favorite stores on AliExpress to see if there's anything new, and, and I have, and I'm really not seeing anything new on AliExpress, and not, not anything that I haven't already seen and talked about before. But there is one thing that I was looking for, and I don't remember where I saw it, but I could have sworn that sometime earlier this week, I saw someone post about an upcoming MU model of sort of a darker black uh, Optimus Prime. And I'm honestly not sure if that was just my imagination, but I could have sworn I saw a post about that on Reddit or somewhere, but I can't find it today. So, But I, I have heard rumors that there is a new... Transformers model coming out, but I'm not sure what it is and the timing that I heard the rumor Was right about the time that I think one of the Bumblebee models came out But it was after it was released so it left me with the impression that there was something more coming after that Right now it's just a rumor and I can't verify it But I wanted to include it in this week's video in case it's out there and I just can't find it again Which is entirely possible on a more personal note. I, I apologize for not having any other videos up this week Life has just been a bit crazy. Uh, my health has remained steady. Uh, my kidneys actually improved slightly, but I am still on dialysis. I'm still on the waiting list, but one of the neat things about peritoneal dialysis, which is different from the standard hemodialysis, is that it can improve kidney function a little bit, which you know helps you to live more of a normal life, but it doesn't get you off of dialysis. So that's good news, and it's made it a little bit easier for the amount of dialysis I have to do. It's possible that I'll be able to do less and still get by and not have a strict diet. But on the flip side, one thing that I don't really talk about is uh, my son is on the autism spectrum and I've been doing a lot here lately to try and get him more assistance. He's getting into his teen years and it's becoming much more readily apparent that assistance is gonna be needed in several different areas. So I've spent a lot of time uh, the past few weeks uh, exploring different options and making different appointments and talking with different people so that's occupied a lot of my time and I apologize for that it's it's I'm still working on videos and I do have a build that I'm working on and I still have the transformer or the Megatron build that's done and I'm editing the video and I try to do those things you know I know I'm juggling both of those at the same time why don't I just focus on one well it depends on the situation there's situations where it's convenient for me to take my laptop with me and work on the video and there's situations where it's more convenient for me to work on a build because sometimes there are situations where it's very inconvenient for me to work on a build so I, I always try to use my time wisely but there's been a lot going on and it's just kept me from finishing any projects lately and I always remain hopeful that things will settle down and I'll be able to get more done but they never seem to but at some point, you know, I don't have any trips planned in the near future, and that certainly caused some setbacks. And so things will hopefully will settle down to the point that I'll be able to do more videos and more models and get them out. But I'm always working on it. And I'll leave it at that because I need to wrap up this video and get this out so I can get back home and maybe work on some of those other videos. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoy these videos, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. A little bit goes a long way. You'll see a link at the very end of this video here in a second, and there's some links in the description down below. I do thank you for watching, and as always, keep on keeping on.